Assalamu alaikum everyone. I am Muhammad Talha and you are watching Talha Space Academy. Today we are going to discuss very important topic of electronics and that is the common emitter configuration of transistor. Today we are going to study its characteristics curves of input characteristics and output characteristics. So first of all let us see what is mean by the common emitter configuration. Uh, when transistor is connected in such a way that the emitter is common to input and output then this type of configuration is known as common emitter configuration. So in this configuration the input is applied between base and emitter junction and output is collected at the collector and emitter junction. The input current is base current, the output current is collector current and the ratio between collector current to the base current is known as current amplification factor. So uh, let's see the circuit as you can see in the picture for NPN transistor and for PNP transistor the connections are done in such a way that the emitter is kept common between input and output. Okay. So in order to study the static characteristic for common emitter configuration let us see its circuit. As you can see, there are two milliammeters are connected in order to measure the base current and collector current. In order to measure the base and emitter junction voltage, a voltmeter is applied across it. And in order to measure the voltage between collector and emitter junction, a voltmeter is also connected two sources of voltages VBB and VCC is also connected and two potentiometers in order to vary the voltages so that we can study the variation of voltage to the current. So let us see how we can uh, draw its uh, input characteristics. In order to study the input characteristics the output is kept constant. The voltage the output voltage that is corrector emitter voltage is kept constant and by varying the input voltage the voltage between base and emitter a potentiometer is used step by step the voltage is varied so that we can study the current and voltages. In order to study the current is plotted on the y axis and the voltage is plotted on the x axis. As it is clear in the figure, you can see this graph is known as the input characteristic of NPN transistor. By this graph, we can study four points. Number one, the input resistance of the transistor is equal to the reciprocal of the slope of the input characteristic curve as you can see in the picture. The resistance is equal to the reciprocal of base current and the base emitter voltage and then is it is equal to the ratio between the base emitter voltage and the base current. Point number two, the initial portion of the curve is not linear as you can see in the picture, it is not linear. Point number three, the input resistance varies considerable from a value of 4 kilo ohms to a value of 600 ohms. When you will study, you will see the variation. Number 4, in case of silicon transistor, the curves break away from zero current for voltage in the range of 0 0.5 to 0 0.6 volt. Whereas for germanium transistor, the breakaway point is in the region 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 volt. So it is clear from the graph we have studied that the graph is drawn by the germanium transistor. So now we will study the output characteristics. What is mean by output characteristics? In order to study output characteristics, the input is kept constant and the output voltage and current is varied and their relation is studied. This is known as the output characteristics. In order to study, we make the input current be, uh, means base current constant with the help of potentiometer R1 
and then we vary the collector emitter voltage step by step and see the variation of current with respect to it and from these family of curves we can study these points number one the collector current that is IC increases rapidly to a saturation level for a fixed value of IB means base current but at the same time the voltage between collector and emitter increases from zero which is very clear from this figure point number two a small amount of collector current flows even when IB is equal to zero this current is called ICEO now main collector current is zero and the transistor is cut off the output characteristics is divided into three regions number one the active region number two the cutoff region and number three the saturation region so now let's study those regions first see the active region in this region the collector is reverse biased and the emitter is forward biased the collector current that is IC response is most sensitive for the change in the base current the second region that is cutoff region when emitter current is equal to zero and the collector current is equal to ICO the cutoff condition of the transistor is reached it is necessary that emitter junction has to reverse by slightly that is 0.1 volt for germanium and 0 volt for silicon and always remember in this region the base current is equal to the negative of collector current and also equal to the negative of CO current. The third region, saturation region. In this region, incremental change in base current do not produce corresponding large changes in IC. As you can see in the picture, the region is also refers to as bottom region because the voltage has fallen near the bottom of the characteristic. In this configuration, saturation is entered while the character is still reverse biased. So, these were the input and output characteristics curves of NPN transistor uh, when we have the common emitter configuration. Hope you understand all the characteristics and all the graphs. Uh, we will continue these lectures for common base configuration and for common collector configuration. But if you have any questions, do write in the comments. I will try to answer them all. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Laugh.